Well, welcome. Thank you all for joining us for the 2022 J. and Mona Tang Art Show Awards presentation. I want to thank all the artists who participated by submitting their works. We have works from more than 270 adult and youth artists from the tri-state area. Obviously, we're holding a virtual show again this year, but we are happy to be able to gather in this small and exclusive group to recognize some of our sponsors who make this event possible, and of course, to celebrate the talented artists who were selected for awards. I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Maureen Barber Carey, our Executive Vice President, and my brother Patrick Barber, how are you guys? <laughs> and my brother Patrick Barber, who is the uh, Vice President for Treasury Management, uh, and they're here to present the awards. So now I'd like to ask uh, Dr. Maureen Barber Carey to introduce some of our sponsors. Thank you very much, Bob. It is really my pleasure to be with you this afternoon. I'd like to extend a very, very special thanks to Dr. J. Emoti Kang, along with her daughter, Janelia, and their son, Derek, for their sponsorship of the annual art show in sale since 2018. Their unwavering support and mobilization of the Barber National Institute mission of making dreams come true is truly inspiring. The Barber National Institute recently received the St. Oscar Romero Award from Mercier's University for its work with persons with disabilities. St. Romero said, those who have a voice must be for those who are voiceless. Each supporter of the art show gives a voice to those who do not have a voice of their own. And the Kangs have exemplified genuine selfless philanthropy that will support the mission of the Barber National Institute for many years to come. Please join me in thanking the Kangs for their continued support of the annual art show in sale. And in appreciation of their support, we'd like to present you with this piece of art created by a former student and now an adult artist of the Barber National Institute, Kevin Sagamuski. Where are we getting pictures? We have three very special organizations that are sponsoring the awards that we will present tonight uh, UPMC Health Plan, UPMC Hammett and ha Hammett Health Foundation. It is an honor for me to introduce Katie Schaefer, who is representing the, these award sponsors. Katie? Thank you. On behalf of the UPMC Health Plan, UPMC Hammett, and the Hammett Health Foundation, we are proud to partner with the Barber National Institute and the Kang family for this year's 2022 Artist Show. We appreciate and value the adult and youth artist talents right here in our own community, along with the great folks from the various programs of the Barber National Institute. Your work is inspiring, and we thank you. Thank you to the donors, the artists, and the sponsors of this year's show. We're happy to be a part of it. Good afternoon, everyone. Art helps us to find ourselves and to lose ourselves at the same time. Since its inception in 2008, Barber Art Show has become the largest and most diverse art show in this region. I would really like to thank the tireless staff at Barber National Institute for coming through with our diverse and professional show year after year. I would also like to thank the other sponsors for their generosity and would also like to thank the judges who helped evaluate hundreds of pieces and had the unenviable task of selecting these winners. Finally, I would like to thank all the artists for your creativity and talent that you all chose to inspire all of us. You are what makes this show and you're all winners. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Kang. We would like to also acknowledge the other sponsors of this year's art show, Erie Arts and Culture, Arlington Heritage Group, Key Bank, and our media sponsor, Lily Broadcast. Now, yeah, we can, we can applaud them. Now, I know everyone is eager to see this year's winning artists, uh, so I'd like to ask Patrick to come up and introduce our judges and announce the awards. This year, we have worked by nearly 300 very talented youth and adult artists. I would like to introduce our judges and if they could come forward if they are here. Allison Stinley is a lecturer at Mercyhurst University and a painter with a Master of Fine Arts degree from Indiana University. Allison has published articles and presented in a variety of art forums and has exhibited her, her work in shows across the country. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Javian Morell is an artist and art teacher in the Erie School District, a United States Marine Corps veteran. Javian holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in illustration from Ringling College of Art and Design and Illustration, Sarasota, Florida. Thank you, Javian. And finally, Jesse Simmons. Jesse is a studio potter and teaching artist who has participated in our past shows. She earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Alfred University and also received formal training in natural building, which has led to teaching and creating with natural resources. I would like to invite Javian to read a brief statement about the judge's experience. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It has been a great experience to co-jury this year's Jay and Mona Kane Art Show and Sale, hosted by the Barber National Institute. Throughout the show, we noticed artwork across all mediums that made us feel something. Whether that was intrigue, peace, curiosity, confrontation, or taking us to a different place and inviting us to explore. I want to thank all of the artists who found the courage to enter the Barber Institute Art Show. It was a privilege to view all of the talent and the effort that went into every piece submitted. Although you may not hear your name mentioned today, please know that you have been noticed, your work has been seen, and that selecting the show's winners and honorable mentions was not an easy task. We thoroughly enjoyed viewing the exhibit and have found inspiration from it. We hope all the artists represented in this year's show continue to pour their energy into their craft. Aries better for it. Thank you once more. Thank you, Javian. The judges really had a difficult job and we're so appreciative of all of their efforts. Now, it is my pleasure to invite Bob, Dr. Barbara Carey, and Dr. Jane Mona Kang to assist in the presentation of awards. We ask the winners to come forward as their names are called. And please return to the podium after the presentation for photos. In the category, in the category of adult artists, the judges selected three pieces for honorable mention awards. The first of these is presented to Kathy Ferraro for her painting in acrylics. Ka ka ka, Katie. The second honorable mention is presented to Cynthia Lyons for her painting, A Chaotic Discovery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the final honorable mention award is presented to 
Francis Damask of Highland Heights, Ohio, for his painting, St. Theodosius, Tremont, Ohio. Francis is not able to be here this afternoon, but we will see that he receives his award. Now, for the best of show awards in the adult category. The best of show in photography is presented to Jackie Carangola for Sunset Horseshoe Pond. <laughs> Jackie is from Warren and could not be here tonight, but we will be sure to get her her award. Congratulations, Jackie. The 2022 Best of Show Award is presented to an artist who has exhibited in our show for many years. Brian C. Maloney for his wire sculpture, Pacing Lion. <laughs> Brian also is not able to attend today, but we will be sure that he receives his award. Congratulations, Brian. Now, we move on to the Youth Artist category, where the judges were especially impressed by the work of our young artists. After a great deal of deliberation, they selected three pieces for honorable mention awards. The first honorable mention award is presented for Skeleton Sand, a drawing and marker by Samantha Woods. Samantha is an 11th grade student at Iroquois High School. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> the second honorable mention award is presented to Yeslian Vargas, a 9th grade student who creates art at the Neighborhood Art House for a reductive relief print honored companion. And the final honorable mention is presented to one of our youngest artists, Nolan Elliott, a preschool student at St. George School for his painting, A Giraffe. And now for the Best of Show Awards in the Youth category. The Best of Show Award in Photography is presented to Sophia Macy. Sophia is an eighth grade student who attends Neighborhood Art House for her photo, Lost in Translation. The 2022 Best of Show Award is presented to Chase Elliott, a senior at Collegiate Academy for his painting, Wingside. We also have something new to announce. For the first year, the Foundation Art Academy in Erie is providing a scholarship to one of our talented artists to continue the study of art with a class at the Academy. For the premier year of this scholarship, the Foundation has selected Chase Elliott for this honor. Chase, uh, we really appreciate everyone's participation and we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Bob, I will now turn to you for closing remarks. Well, I think you just closed the remarks. <laughs> really, thank you everybody who participated. Thank you everybody who showed up this evening uh, for the awards presentation. Feel free to stick around and take a look at the art before you go. And uh, thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you.